All right, we are off. This is Oracle of Ages Weekly Randomizer Race. Today we're playing normal mode, randomized dungeons, tree warp is enabled, and we do have randomized music for the first time in ages. Should be a good race. We got ourselves a pretty good turnout. We got me, we got Fox, we got Daxum and Lotus. Good luck, have fun to everyone. Our <laughs> overworld music is really interesting here. So one thing to note is I'm not doing sound effect rando. And that is simply because I think that could be an issue. Specifically with the Goron dancing. Like, Goron dancing is already an issue sometimes. But having to do Goron dancing with sound effect rando sounds almost impossible. So we're just doing regular background music rando. And, oh, my game just crashed. Cool. What a great start. I hope it's not because of the music, Rando. All right, let's try that again. If it, if it crashes again going into Make Your Path, then it's got to be something with the music, Rando. Otherwise, it might just be the game acting up. Okay, it didn't crash that time, so we're good. That was weird. Guess my computer just did not like going into make a path there. Yeah, it could still be music rando issue, just not 100%. Though, we did manage to get through an entire season's rando without a crash. Yeah, I have had BizHawk crash once in a while. So, it is not out of the realm of possibility, it's just a random biz hall crash. I mean, it's a good thing that it happened as soon as it did, and not, like, an hour in. Like, we were able to just straight up start over and not have to worry about it. I mean, I lost, what, like two minutes? Whatever. Yeah, tower music is really cool here. <laughs> I 
I like how we're we're talking to the tree in the forest. Oh, is that that's like cave music too. Okay. We've got we've got some really good music. And there's Tune of Currents. Okay. So immediately we have access to a dungeon, but... Am I going to go into the dungeon? I don't think so. Like... What dungeon can I really do anything in, other than D1? I, it would have to be D1, so let's let's just see what it is, at least. Because if it's D1, I can do a little bit. You get two checks? Yeah, two. No, I can't do anything there. Yeah, we're gonna have to make our way up to, like, Symmetry right now. I think... Likely Progression... Flippers to Talus Peaks. I mean, we're very close to just having to do Talus Peaks, three hearts, no damage. Two hundred rupees. Okay, that gets us the island chart. If we find rope, then we have access to all of Crescent Island. Yeah, it's probably looking more like a raft sea right now. It could be both, honestly. Could be get the rope on Talus Peaks. Yeah, it could be rope on Talus Peaks to Crescent Island. Yeah, they're playing hide and seek in the courtyard. Yeah, these carpenters, they're some of the most lazy guys. They've been they've been slacking for what 20 plus years. There's the flippers. Okay. So that's Talus Peaks access. So now the question is, do we actually have to go all the way through there? I mean, we have two checks left. We have Twins and Composer. And then, potentially go up to Talus Peaks.
All right, there's mysteries. Can't harvest them yet. Oh yeah, would help if I actually put on echoes. Hey, there, there's Echoes. <laughs> Thanks for the gift sub. Appreciate it. Uh, Rosa is in the game. Because you can, you can talk to her on uh, Crescent Island in the Link game. We got bombs, okay. Bombs don't really do anything for me right now. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I could. I could, in theory, use bombs as my weapon. Yeah, I don't remember if it actually plays our music there. I would assume so. There's a nice harp on A. So assuming that this is not the rope. Yeah, we have to go through Talus Peaks. Oh, this is, this is a good start. So I have to go through Talus Peaks. But here's something really cool about going through Talus Peaks here. I can get the bomb upgrade. And we can use bombs as our main damage source. It's not, like, the greatest thing to do, but it is a possibility. It does take a little bit of extra time. But I kind of like that. Especially without any kind of weapons other than that. Doing this to show my daughter how Twitch works, tongue. Yo, sound with the nine months. Appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get the bomb upgrade here. Because there's no guarantee I'm going to get anything else. Oh, I have to, I actually have to do it the, the right way. There we go. I'm so used to Minish Cap where you just spam. And you don't actually have to pay attention to what you uh, select. But yeah, now I have 30 bombs. So... We're going to be able to use those wherever we end up going for damage purposes. I think there's a very good possibility that Dungeon 3 is vanilla.
So having extra bombs is going to be very useful because then we can kill the Armos statues without having to like farm and stuff. Alright, here is the moment of truth. Is this the rope, or is this something else? It's a shovel! Oh! Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting, because now, now we're looking at going through, I guess I'll go this way, because I'm already up this way. We're looking at going through Makey Path, using bombs and the shovel. Yo, Soul, thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. So the cool thing about using the shovel here is you can kill these guys. It's annoying to do, but it's really fun. Uh, I'm going to take that just to have the extra heart. Because I'm going to take damage here, on purpose. So this is either a key or an item. There's the rope. I should have grabbed... I should have grabbed the chart while I had the chance. So instead, I'm going to have to take the long way. It's kind of unfortunate. So what the chart does is it combines with the rope and allows you to ride the raft. In order for the raft guy to let you sail on the raft, you have to know where you're going. So you have to get the island chart. You normally get that from Tangle in the vanilla game. The rope is there to make the raft so that it doesn't fall apart, and then the island chart allows you to navigate the waters, essentially. So this is going to allow me to get to Crescent Island. I can access the dungeon. I can also get a couple things in the past area. So we're going to just kind of navigate this entire area.
Oh, the fact that I got 200 rupees could come into play here. Because this is a minigame. Requires 10 rupees and obviously bombs and bracelet. So this could very well be something. It's a ring. We may come back to that if I don't get anything else. In fact, what I'll do is I'll set up a save point there. Because right now, the only ring that would benefit me is, like, Expert Ring. Okay, Switch Hook. I'll take that. And I don't think this that was going to be Expert Ring. Just a hunch. All right, a level six. Can I do anything here? Nothing too crazy. I can fight these wizard robes with bombs. But fighting the... Yeah, fighting the red one's hard. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So the thing we got here was the switch hook, right? Switch hook is going to allow me to get back into Deku Forest and do a bunch of stuff up there. Um, yeah, this is probably slightly faster way. It's kind of weird that the two dungeons we found so far are both D6. Now, I don't want to go into D6 just yet, uh, because I know that there is more to it. And we may end up finding something better in here. Like the long switch, okay. Okay, game. I see what you're trying to do. Gonna try and force me to go right back to uh, Crescent Island. Thankfully we have the mermaid suit now, so we don't have to worry about taking the raft again.
And this is why you use True Warp in Ages. Lots of back and forth between very distinct areas that have one check available at a time. Or if it's more than one check, it's like two or three at most. And we're currently a feather away from Rolling Ridge. No, I'm not using sound effect randomizer because it's kind of tricky. I don't want to ha have to deal with Goron dancing with sound effect randomizer. That's the the main thing there. I mean, I'll try it, just not in a race. What the the soft lock potential in uh, Crescent Island? why we have the, the safety portal there. It's because if you come with the... I want to say it's either come with the raft and leave with Dimitri or something. Or like... You, or you come with Dimitri and... You only have Echoes. Oh, it's if you only have Echoes, you come with Dimitri. You can't get back. Because that portal won't let you back. Alright, so we have Feather. Now, like, the entire world is open to me. AKA Rolling Ridge. So we're going to go to Rolling Ridge. I'll go there right after I finish here. I can get one check in D6. Do I want to go in there? Probably not. Seeds? What was my default? Gales? Okay. I mean, I might as well just go straight up here. I have no way of harvesting. But because I can access tree, I might as well go access the tree. Even if I can't harvest, I can get back there really quickly. So in terms of dungeons, don't have access to anything major. Book. Okay. Biggest thing I can think of is getting like one check in D6 and like both D6s. I don't want to go back into either of those dungeons until I do all of Rolling Ridge though.
part, okay. So I still don't have a way of getting past this, which is perfectly fine. I don't plan on it. At least not right now. My entire goal over here was just to get access to the sea tree. Okay. Didn't actually need that shield, but I'll take it, I guess. You know, I wasn't even paying attention to the music there. <laughs> it's just... I've been listening to a lot of uh, tree music that i just kind of tuning it out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go straight in. And, like, loop around, I think. I think that's probably the best play here. So we have the Royal Caves. Yeah, 30 rupees I'll take. When I have 30 bombs, I don't really mind uh, using a couple of them to get some rupees. Mermaid Key, Dungeon Access. Bomb flower. Okay. Getting a few things here and there. Boomerang! Okay. And a crown key. Ooh, I can actually go straight there if I really wanted to. Power glove. All right, here's what. I, here's where I'm gonna do something really, really crazy. I'm actually gonna go straight to to this dungeon. Because I'm already there, basically. But I already saved, so if there's nothing here, I can just easily get back. But it could also very well be, like, a really good dungeon. Like D4. Um, can I kill these? I can. Oh, 
This is some tech. This is some tech right here. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that is logical. Being able to use a shield. Small key. I mean, we're just kind of seeing what's in here. I don't know how far I can actually get without a sword. Because I can't get to the main boss without it. Oh, also, I need Ember Seeds. Well, you know what? Might as well. We got a little bit done in here. Might as well check front three, at the very least. Can I use bombs to fight the mini boss? Oh, it's the other way around. Okay. I'm really bad at this, apparently. There we go. Another key. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave, because... The rest of this is not really logical without more to it. I can't get back down there. Okay. I can't get back to that. So a bit of a slight miscalculation there. This is perfectly fine. Because I needed to come here anyway and do a few things. Okay, D2. Now we've got a dungeon we can actually do stuff with. In fact, we can full clear this dungeon.
Wait, isn't this vanilla music? Yeah, this is vanilla music. Oh, I did even, like, notice, like, process that it was supposed to be different music here. Yeah, I gotta do this trap. So we're gonna use switch hook on swoop. Easiest way to go about doing it without a sword. Good mini boss music. Yo, what's up, Nitros? You can kill the uh, D4 mid boss with bombs? Okay. So that's good to know for the future. Like, if I decide I want to go back there, I could always do that. The only reason I really didn't want to continue at that point was just because um, I was already low on health. I probably would have continued if I didn't have, like, a heart and a half. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Unfortunately. Like, we, we couldn't get randomized music here. Actually, I don't need to do that. Because there's just a key and a gasha there.
Alright. We should be fine now. Keyword is shit. As long as I actually get a heart f hearts from here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was boss key. Think this has to be a small? Yeah. Oh, actually, it didn't have to be a small. Now that I'm thinking about it, we didn't do basement because we don't have sword. I forgot the pattern. <laughs> I mean, I know what I need to do. I just completely forgot to pull the bomb. Yeah, the, the music distracted me. Oh, I threw it too soon. There we go. Did I even get map and compass? I got compass. Did I get map? Basement might be map. Never mind. Ah, uh, basement's an item. <laughs> of course it is. Alright, how much you want to bet I'm going to forget. How much you want to bet I'm going to forget there's an item there. A nice gash of seed. Beautiful gash of seed. Alright. Uh, I have a couple options here. None of them are great. The one that I like the most out of this is just doing target carts. Just because I like target carts. And it's two items, that's really the reason. <laughs> Just because it's two items in one.
And then I'll probably turn in the bomb flower. Yeah, turn in the bomb flower on my way out. I'm also getting, like, increasingly concerned that the ring on uh, Toke Wild is a fist or expert ring. Allows me Oh no. I know I can't allows. <laughs> yes. Okay. We're going to see no return. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I'm still gonna go turn this in first. Just because I'm right here. But then, yeah, see of no return. Kane puts that into logic. But also with Kane. I could probably do more work in D6. Gold Joy, I'll take that. Gladly take that. Right, because I can use Kane. I'm actually a little unsure. Oh yeah, Kane does wonders here. <laughs> I love Kane as a weapon there. Oh, that's so good. So this room is the reason you need Kane. Potentially. If you don't know where the floor is. Logically, you need Kane to get through there. Alright. Now it's time for us to just get destroyed. as we try and make our way through the maze. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know why I let the line all out. Uh, 
Alright, give me a health refill. Lava juice, okay. Alright. We made it. <laughs> made it through. Into D3. Okay. This is actually a good dungeon. We can't beat it, but it's a good dungeon. Old Mermaid Key! This game really has a way of forcing me to go through the most obnoxious paths to do anything. I, d I didn't hit that one yet! No, this music has to be intense. It's D8. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the most intense dungeon. This is the final dungeon. At least the final dungeon entrance in vanilla. All right, so we're guaranteed a small key over here. All right, I'm, I'm just waiting for my controls to be reversed like halfway through this dungeon. Wow, I just hooked, like, everything but what I was trying to. I will gladly take a Gale refill there. Bosky! That does nothing for me. It does absolutely nothing because I can't fight the boss. I I guess I can, technically, in a very awful way. Cause I think it is technically possible to do it with satchel and sense, and we can get sense in here. But it's really awful. It's much easier with embers. I mean, wor worst case scenario is like we just try it and die. Or we just die. This has really been a pretty brutal seed <laughs> in terms of like weapons. We just have nothing. Like, obviously, having the bomb 
upgrade has helped a lot. But even that, like, we really haven't been doing much combat. Alright, there's a map. Here's a room with some combat. And it's a sword! Let's go! <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, let's go basement here. Because by going basement here, I can guarantee... Oh wait, can I even do this? Trying to think of like how this works out. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that particular setup. Because I don't have. I have a boomerang. I could do the boomerang strat, right? There's a way of doing it with the boomerang. Don't remember exactly how it works. Something like that. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, of course the other one's on the other side. Alright, there's another key. I can bomb jump this to make this easier. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so at the very least, I got access to over here. Let's see if this works.
Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, do I have to, like, 90, 90 degree turn and drop? I don't know how this works. Yeah, no, this isn't working. Okay, I'm just getting out of there. Um... You know what? I I did I did this wrong. <laughs> this is just terrible. This is just terrible. Everything I'm doing right now is just awful. I shouldn't be doing any of this, to be honest. No, you know what? I'm I'm just out of here. I'm just out of here. <laughs> We're not doing this. No, I don't have an ember tree available. Um Oh, I should be going to Yeah, that's where I should be doing. I should be going to uh Mermaid Cave. Cause we got the key. Yeah, let's go there. Oh, also, why don't I just get seeds in general? <laughs> like, that would be kind of a good thing. And I could get Pegasus seeds, which will help out. Yeah, I've been without a sword for so long, I just forgot what it's like to actually have a sword. Uh, we want present? Yeah, present. One. Finally, something I can do without having to think. Oh wait, ember seeds. <laughs> we might need ember seeds in here. We'll be fine. We won't need Ember Seeds, will we? Yeah, we will. We'll probably need them. Unless, of course, those are keys? It could be a double key situation. And we got our we got ourselves a key up here, so we should be okay. Oh, it's boss. 
Of course it's boss. And that's not a key. Yep, it's a it's a key situation. We can't do anything here. Or wait, can mysteries? I... Mysteries can't do that, but he can go to the other one. Hold on, I can do that. I can actually go that way. Thanks, game! Appreciate it! Let's do it again. we go we got a key we got a key we can beat the dungeon This is why you don't allow me to roll seeds. <laughs> okay, that's not a key. Risk it! That is useless. Yeah, so that has to be a double key situation. Both of the ember slots were keys. Alright, so that was just, like, a useless dungeon. Cool. Um... Now where do I go? Get more mystery seeds, obviously. Because the mystery seeds are the key right now. Now, I'd probably go back to D4. No. Do I want to go to D4? Yeah, I'm gonna do D4.
Like, out of the things I can do, nothing seems to be in logic. <laughs> uh, there's like one thing that I could maybe do in logic. Which is go to D6. But I don't want to go to D6. I guess I could do go to D6. Like, I don't... Yeah, I don't see a reason why D6 is that bad. Like, we would go into past first. Or we just get the Seed Shooter right there and go into 4 anyway. That works. Because this... The Seed Shooter now puts 4 in logic. Assuming I can actually... Make jumps. Can't make jumps! Oh, and, and Seed Shooter is going to put 3 in Logic now, too. Yeah! This is going swimmingly. This is what happens when you haven't played in, like, a month plus. And what's even worse about my situation is I have gold joy rings, so any hearts give me double. <laughs> so I'm just not getting heart drops. Except now I get a heart drop, right? Yeah, give me all the hard drops when I have full health. Thank you very much. And give me zero hard drops when I'm at half a heart. Sent seedling, maybe that's our ember seeds. Honestly, it probably is. But you know what? Ember seeds could also be in Zora.
But this kind of works out, right? I want to go back... I want to go back to uh, D6 pretty soon. So I'll do Scent Seedling while I'm there. And maybe we'll get Ember Seeds, and then we can go back up to D3. So now that I know that Phase 2 can be defeated with bombs, uh, we'll probably keep that in mind for future future installments of our rando. Because maybe I'll come back here and do that kind of situation again. Alright, there's boss key. So this dungeon is now clearable. Yeah, I figure it's probably not too bad. I just wasn't sure if he was vulnerable to bombs or not. Okay, we're missing map. So map two items. No, map item key. Yeah, map item key. So we're going to have to do floor puzzle here. Unless it's key. It, uh, yeah, if it's key, I probably still want to do it just in case. Item isn't back. Okay, so we're guaranteed Ember Seeds now. Guaranteed Ember Seeds. Come back here. Come back here. Thank you. this boss music. <laughs> it, it so does not fit. It, it works too well. Alright, self-lock key. It didn't matter. Alright, 
we know exactly where we're going right now. We are not taking any chances. We're going straight to Zora. Hopefully, Embers are there. If they're not, then we know exactly where they're at. They're at Scent Seedling. So we just go do Scent Seedling after that. Then we'll do six. We'll do three. Um, and then we gotta get access to dungeons. That's all we need to do. Is just get access to dungeons. We need all dungeon keys because we've already found six present. Then it's just a matter of going fast. Yeah, the Tune of Ages is is just uh, the narrow sapphire. It just looks a little different just because sprite versus 3D model. And you can only get so much detail in a sprite. But yeah, it is exactly that. Hey, we're finally getting a little bit of health. That also helps. And there's our Amber Seeds. Very nice. Oh wait, I don't have Potion. Because I haven't gotten Graveyard Key yet. So I can't do anything there. Alright, so what I'll do, I'll grab a few things here, then we're going to leave. Fill up on Pegasus Seeds before we go anywhere. Coronade. I guess the seeds are Deku Forest. I want to do one down because I want to be able to come out and then uh, go right back in there. We'll do dungeon first, then go up to see no return, do dungeon up there. It 
It would help if I didn't take, like, massive amounts of damage. Alright, so that was a key. Yeah, you want to mash the button to to keep the rooster in the air. It's you don't have to mash like super fast or anything, just a little bit. Alright, key two. Zora scale, okay. So we're getting some items, things that aren't necessarily needed, but could eventually be required. Oh yeah, we don't have Bosky yet. So Bosky could be in present. So we may have to go there. Alright, so we're getting key three down here plus hopefully boss key. Chances are we're probably not getting boss key down here though. Alright, this is key three. I think that means compass is still out there. Could be on boss, could be back here, though. Yeah. 
He has compass. Okay. So boss key is present. That's perfectly fine, because that gives me more things to check along the way. Because we're starting to kind of run out of a few things here and there. Actually, yeah. I have plenty of these. Yeah, with Moose, you want to stop and rest, and uh, then restart. You can't just fly the entire time. So, like, there's those little spots, like, if you're doing the Moose Pits in uh, Mount Kuko, the, the Dragon Key check, you have to stop at each of the, the spots. You could maybe get past the first one without stopping, but you definitely need to stop before the last one. Why am I always at half a heart? <laughs> uh, so I can do this. Yeah, we'll do we'll do it this way. This way works pretty well. Cause I already opened this key door, so I'm just gonna go through here. done that yet. Yeah, let me... let me think about that. How do I want to get to that, that space? I could just drop down. That's fine. There's a lot of things I have to do in this dungeon. Shout out to like new no drops of ember seeds, please. Like just give me ember seeds. Not a single ember seed drop. All right, so I'll get right side. Right side with final key. So back and amber. Because I didn't have mystery seeds when I came here the first time. Because we got sword here. Yeah, so we gotta jump back in. We got a lot of things to check.
Okay. What am I missing? Map. Or compass. Okay. So, because I'm missing compass, there is one more item. So we gotta go to the back. I got a pretty good follow-up line after this. Oh, there's our Ember Seeds. And now we're getting every seed, which is good. Alright, there's Compass. Item in the back. Ricky's gloves. Cool. Good item. So here's the follow up. We're going straight to D6 present. So we can finally do things in here. So let's see how this ends up being. Toony Nut! <laughs> okay, so that's probably our progression from earlier. <laughs> Right, because like we were doing a lot of things out of logic. So tuning Nut was logical for a very long time. Oh, hit the wrong button. There we go. So yeah, we could have gotten tuning Nut like a long time ago. It really doesn't even matter what dungeon it is, because we can beat every dungeon. I guess in terms of, like, previous logic, it might matter. But 5, 7, and 8 are all, like, decently okay. is a key. You know what that means. With two keys in hand, that means we have to do fire. Because the odds of the final check being a key are pretty good.
Alright, so that was garbage. Doesn't necessarily mean everything's garbage. Yeah, it looks like we're looking at potential vanilla boss key. It's either going to be vanilla or it's Beemo's check. Either way, that is going to be a key sound on Beemo's. Yep, vanilla. Okay. All right, so we full clear. First try, okay. Then obviously I immediately go to the Toonie Nut. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised it's still random. I mean, it could just be like a seeded random. Like, that would be really nice. Just based on the seed, it's always going to be the same amount. Or just do a first try every time and not worry about it. I think A Link to the Past is seeded random for uh, uh, the random events, like the digging game and stuff, and chess game. Well, chess game is always going to be first try, but I believe digging game is a seeded random. Alright, what game is, uh, what dungeon is this gonna be? I think if it's eight, I want to go get Peck of the Seeds before I go in. But seven or five, I don't care either way. Yeah, okay. Ganon teleports and other boss events are 
are seen at random too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Link to the Past is, is a very fair g racing game. Like, that's that's because that's sort of like the whole thing is they were built around racing to begin with. So having every, like, a co competitive advantage just because of RNG kind of makes it unfair. I mean, I guess in this game there's not as many RNG elements that can really affect the run. Like, sure, you have the D6 levers, and incidentally, the D6 buttons in, in uh, Seasons, but those are a little bit more manageable. But otherwise, like, most stuff in this game isn't really based around, like, full RNG. Like, you're not waiting cycles for blue balls on Aghanim. Warps, yeah. Warps is, like, the only other thing. And even then, you can technically get around the warps. Like, you can manipulate them. If you really wanted to. That's two. Oh yeah, I don't need to do that because I have 30 bombs. <laughs> I'm so used to not having bombs at this point. It's three? Is this gonna be like a go mode eight? I'm just gonna fly through it. No, probably not. We're <laughs> the last slate is going to be in the last possible spot, guaranteed. There's no way we're going to get the fourth slate. Or if we get the fourth slate, we're not going to get boss key. It's going to be one or the other. What a beautiful drop. Like, Blue Stalfos always does the same patterns. Like, you always know you're gonna get uh, a, a regular ball first, then it's gonna be two blue balls.
Then it's gonna be a regular ball. Then if we didn't kill him there, it would be one blue ball back to a regular, and then repeat the cycle. Yeah, still no Slate or Boss Key. What do you know? Also no Small Key either, so I can't go down that way. They're small, so we can at least get to the refill room. Bosky. So we just need final slate. Which is probably gonna be up here, maybe, if we're lucky. Map is still out there. That's map slate item. All right, there's slate. Okay. So we'll go straight into boss. Hope that item is there. Otherwise, we come back in and we get item from the back.
All right, and the moment of truth, it is the item, and it's Graveyard Key. Let's go. So that opens up another dungeon for me to do. At some point, I want to go back and finish six. In fact, let's just go finish six right now. Because the way I see it is, if that's fairy powder at six, on six boss, we can just go mode two dungeons. And I'm gonna need to refill my Pegasus Seeds anyway before I do one of these next two dungeons, so... Might as well do, like, a quick dungeon that I'm just cleaning up. Also, get a free Pegasus refill there. I might not even need to refill before the next dungeon. It's not fairy powder. Okay. But it still clears a dungeon. Now we can go fill up on Pegasus Seeds and we'll go to the graveyard. Oh, I have a lot to do in the graveyard, don't I? <laughs> I realize I haven't even stepped foot into the graveyard yet. Thank you. 
Which means there's a lot of items for me to get in here. We have the Moosh event that we haven't even done two hours in. kind of a consequence of very late Ember Seeds, right? You can't get into the graveyard without Ember Seeds, so when Ember Seeds are your last seed, it's going to take you a while to get in here. So I gotta grab a potion. We're not going to need any, any more rupees at this point. We've already done just about everything. Only past dancing would be the only thing. Oh, I guess Goron Shooting Gallery we haven't done yet. That's another one. We didn't have a sword when we were over there. Alright, easy boss key. So this could be a really quick dungeon. In fact, I'm just going to go straight there. Like, let's... Let's let this dungeon give me the fairy powder on boss, right? Oh, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> the music changing in here. <laughs> Between phases. I didn't realize it does that. Why can't I do this now?
The music just kind of threw me off on that. I think in general the music is just throwing me off. Small key. Means we gotta go a little bit deeper in here. There's more than meets the eye here. But really, this dungeon is, like, very quick. We can probably finish it. Without too much of an issue. Oh no, am I gonna die with a potion? I, re I realized as I was doing that that I was gonna <laughs> die with the potion. Alright, there's a heart. Alright, so this is definitely key locked. only two things left and we only have two keys. They could just be two keys, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you need five keys in order to go any further. Or it could just be a compass. That also works. Um. Yeah, let's go turn that in. Let's go turn in our, our potion real quick before I uh, die again.
It would be really something if this ends up being the, uh... The fairy powder over here. not. Okay. So now I gotta start figuring out where I want to go. Because there's a couple places that I could do things. Well, more than a couple, but... It's like all overworld from here. try and work somewhat backwards if I can. I think this was one of the last things we got. Maybe like Goronade. Goronade Lava Juice. I feel like we've had that stuff for a little bit. That might still be the, like the best place for me to go. Oh, shooting gallery too. I haven't done shooting gallery. So I guess I'll do, like, those three together. Library key! Oh! That could be... a thing. I'm a little concerned. A little scared there. It's getting a little too close for comfort. So library key could lead us to where we need to be. The other possibility... We have lava juice. We have um, shooting gallery. Maybe we finally got some more health.
Ambi's Palace is a thing. I think if library doesn't work out, it's Ambi's Palace. All right, library time. Two checks in the library. Now, only one of them needs to be the fairy powder. Not vanilla. Uh, the flutes? Doesn't do anything for me right now, right? Yeah, I think I've already done everything I could do with the flute. Oh, we have Tingle. Tingle's a thing. And Tingle has two jacks. Yeah, we're going Tingle. Okay. All right, Ambi's Palace. It's got to be there, right? If it's not here, I genuinely have no idea. It's gotta be like one jack that I've forgotten about somewhere. Oh, I didn't even realize I could do that. Okay. Lotus finished in first place with a 229.38. So it's probably not in a, like, completely awful spot. It's probably just in here, right? Yep, 
There it is. <laughs> of course it is. It's probably going to be a quick, um, quick D7. Go mode. Just need a boss key, pretty much. This was definitely a seed to come back to, that's for sure. Okay, early compass is good. I will gladly take that. There's a key here. The letter of introduction. Not only did Jabu swallow Gorons, <laughs> he swallowed one with a letter. a lot of small keys, which is good, because we'll need them for later. gonna hold on to that, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care that it might lose me a lot more time. Noble Sword is really good to have for the final fights.
Oh yeah, is this a key? It is. Okay, so it's either key locked or that's boss key. And that is not a key. That's also not a key. Yo, Lotus, thanks for the raid. GG on the race. Okay, so it's key lock because there's two keys in the back. So it's either up here or it's that one on the first floor. There it is, okay. Well, you've been playing a lot recently, so it makes sense that you're at least practiced. <laughs> I did a lot of dumb things in this race <laughs> because I haven't played in a while. I'm sure, like, if I played on a weekly basis again, like, it'll be okay. Uh, I don't know, like, <laughs> close to two hours? I don't know. It was, it was really long. It, it probably wasn't like close to two hours, but it was like probably like 145 or so. I'll have to look it up afterward. Yeah, I, I definitely did not get it before an hour. Oh, I have to go through. Cheshire Tree! What's up, Neon? Yeah, just in time for the end. This was definitely a very interesting scene. I definitely should have played it a little bit differently, but that's how it goes. Oh, uh, Fox finished in second place with a 2.37 even, so GG. Like, I probably shouldn't have wasted time trying to sent seed shadow hag without like knowing what I'm doing.
or trying, like, a million other things without sword. Also, like, I had no health for, like, the longest time. So I died, like, 15 times. <laughs> Probably not 15, but definitely close to 10 times. This, this scene was just very brutal. And it's still not giving up. <laughs> I've spent most of this seed on, like, half a heart. And that's even factory in the fact that I got gold joy ring. So even though I'm getting double health. Anytime I get health, I just wasn't getting hearts. The only time I got hearts was when I was at full health. Yeah, this is a great final boss music. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I forgot my game crashed at the beginning. <laughs> so I lost like three minutes right at the start. I think that just kind of set the scene for the entire scene, to be honest. There we go. We finish in third place with a 244-33. Terrible time, but we haven't played ages in what feels like ages, so... Based on, with how that seed went, I'm okay with it. It was just like a really brutal seed. Ooh. 
This is a really nice ending credits. It's really uh, get me ready for that linked game experience. Yeah, I, I did a lot of dumb things in the seed, like trying to go through D4 without a weapon. Um, not realizing I can bomb strat uh, the mini boss. Uh, trying to fight Shadow Hag with just a satchel and with just uh, scent seeds. That wasn't good. Uh, I forgot to grab the island chart before going into Make a Path, so I had to go back to the present and go back and back and forth, which wasted time. Lots of death in general. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't a great seed, but it was still a fun seed. Still fun to play. Just need to brush up on a few things, and we'll be good to go for next couple weeks, I think. Yeah, hopefully we can get start getting more people doing these races on a weekly basis. That would be nice. Oh yeah, let's look up uh, when I got my sword. Oh, I, I definitely had it by an hour and a half. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I got it about an hour in. <laughs> 